If you ever wanted to grow your own asparagus from seed, it's super easy to do, and I'm showing you how, and we're starting right now. What's up guys, my name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you wanna learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other perennial vegetable videos, start right now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. All right guys, so today we are talking about how to grow your own asparagus from seed. Uh, it's super easy to do. Uh, most of the time people will plant asparagus crowns and that's gonna be the best bet if you want a quick harvest because uh, generally they're two to three years old. But if you want to grow it from seed, it's super easy to do. Just get you some seeds and follow the steps that I'm gonna show you and you'll have asparagus plants in no time. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure to have something to start your seeds in. Uh, so this is really just, it's really just preference, but I like to start my seeds using the double cup method. So the first thing you wanna do guys is you wanna have something to start your seeds in. Whether it's a six pack that you picked up at a nursery and saved uh, to reuse, or it's you know just a random plastic container, or even the solo cups. Uh, I use the double cup method for pretty much all of my seed starting uh, needs. It's super easy to use, and you can reuse these cups for years after year. The first thing you wanna do, guys, is make sure that the cup has some drainage in it. So you can simply cut some slits on the edge of the cup, put a hole in the middle, however you wanna do it. Uh, it's super easy to do. Once you have that cup, you're gonna also need a cup that does not have holes. And for the reason, the reason for this, guys, is you wanna make sure that you have uh, sort of a reservoir in the bottom. That way the plant in the top cup can use that moisture that's down here. Uh, you'll basically water from the bottom by putting water in this cup, setting the plant in it, and it's going to wick up what it needs. If you've got those two things, now it's time for soil. So you really wanna start seeds in a seed starting mix or a potting mix. Uh, just the reason being there, guys, is they tend to be lighter and it tends to be easier for the seeds to germinate. I'd never recommend starting seeds in garden soil uh, when you're talking about starting seeds inside. It's really just too dense, um, really hard for the seeds to germinate. You got the seed starting mix in here and we're ready to start the seeds. So let's jump on into it and I'll show you how I'm doing it. All right guys, so I got my seed starting mix in the cup and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seeds. These are Mary Washington uh, asparagus. It's probably one of the most popular varieties that you can grow at home. Uh, you can get these in crowns that are two to three years old if you want a quicker harvest, but I find that starting from seed is much more rewarding. Uh, so here we're gonna take some seed out. Okay. And in this cup, you're gonna to wanna to just plant, I don't know, three to five seeds. You can separate them later. Really hard to see these seeds because they're uh, black and the seed starting mix is dark, okay? But once you have your seeds in there, put any that's left over back in the package, and then you're gonna take just a little bit more of the seed starting mix and cover the seeds up, just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna take your mister bottle or your sprayer and you're just gonna wet the soil down just like that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure to label your seeds. Okay, just like that. The last thing you wanna do is put a Ziploc bag over the top. And what that does is it creates a mini greenhouse for your seeds. 
All right, guys, so we're back, <clears throat> and we have the asparagus seeds started in the red Solo cup. Uh, what I've done, guys, is I've just put a Ziploc bag over here, as I showed you just a minute ago, and that really just helps to keep the seeds uh, moist. It holds the humidity and really helps your seeds germinate. So once you have that done, you want to make sure you get this in a warm place uh, in your house, whether that's a seed starting station, uh, maybe with a heat mat, or if you don't have that and you know you can make use of other warm places in your house one of my favorite places to start seeds at in the house is right on top of the refrigerator uh, heat rises so the refrigerator just it the heat that it produces is going to rise up the top and that really helps your seeds germinate now once they germinate guys you want to take this ziploc bag off and you want to get them underneath some lights uh, it's is it the strongest lights that you can possibly give it uh, and you want it to be two maybe three inches from the top of the plant and what that's going to do guys is it's going to really produce strong plants uh, if you want to take a look at a seed starting setup that i have you can take a look at it in the youtube card above and that's just going to give you some sh you know sort of basics on the seed starting setup that i use uh, each and every year so once your asparagus is started, get them into uh, a warm place. Once they sprout, get them underneath light, and then you will have plants in no time. Uh, it really doesn't take long for these guys to sprout, and I will show you a couple that I already have, that have already sprouted, and I have growing in my grow room. Uh, these were started uh, maybe, maybe a month ago, uh, and they're doing fantastic. Uh, so these will be going out into the garden after they've been hardened off and I'll be growing these in a container. That's going to be a new, ser a new playlist coming up is how to grow asparagus in containers. So definitely check that out in the coming months. If you're growing asparagus, let me know in the comment section below what variety you're growing. I love asparagus. Our whole family loves it. So it's a must have in my garden. Uh, if you're new here, drop me a hashtag new in the comment section below so that I can welcome you properly. And if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and growing other perennials in your garden, definitely start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Check out these videos to learn more about sustainable gardening. And thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video.